Hey team, so how hard is it to run a marathon in three hours? Uh, from my own experience, I'll tell you, it's just extremely hard. You definitely have to have a, a strong desire to succeed and you're definitely um, going to have to have some form of physical and mental capability in order to break three hours for the marathon. There are so many runners around the world that are trying to get under the three hour marathon barrier. What I've done on RunDreamAchieve.com uh, with the sub three hour marathon pro course, as well as the training plans I've created is to really help uh, do the best I can to, to assist athletes to get under this barrier. You know, obviously as a coach, there's only so much I can do. And I've fortunately, I've, I've had many athletes that have worked under me or have invested in one of my courses or the training plans that have run well under the three hour marathon barrier. Uh, I had one athlete actually that uh, had a PR of 346 who ended up running a 258 for the marathon, never thought he could break the, the three hour marathon barrier. One of the biggest changes that you can make in your preparation to get under this barrier is to start running faster long runs, okay? It is not going to be conducive to you uh, if you run every single weekend easily. You know, you're building endurance, it's still very important, but the faster you're trying to run over the marathon distance, the more important running at aggressive anaerobic efforts is key. Uh, Obviously, you have to continue to work on your speed so that, again, you're, you're, you want to improve the body's lactate tolerance and you want to be able to teach the body to clear lactic acid more effectively, more easily, so that you can continue to sustain this 6 minute and 52 second per mile pace or 4 minute and 16 second per kilometer pace. There are plenty of you out there that I know can run well below the 3 hour marathon barrier. And I know a lot of you also have run sub three hour marathon pace for maybe 16, 17 miles of the 26.2 mile event, or maybe up to maybe even 20 miles. And you're really having a harder time running that last 10 kilometers uh, more effectively. Stay consistent. Don't give up. Okay. This is, I know there's so many athletes that are, that are wanting to become sub three hour marathon athletes. And it's just a matter of consistency in what you're doing and staying aggressive and make sure you're utilizing all of the fundamentals that goes into running fast over the marathon distance. You have to make sure you're paying attention, better attention to your hydration practices and really learning how to drink more in training so that when you get to the race, you've already on a routine basis every single weekend, you've really drilled down on learning how to take in more fluid so that you that you, again, you can find out how much your stomach really can withstand over a long period of time in training so that when you go to the race, you don't end up uh, drinking too much or especially you, you, or drinking too little and, and becoming dehydrated in the race. A, another major reason athletes have a hard time breaking the three-hour marathon is that they're really getting too aggressive in the early half of the race, the first half of the race. If you're trying to break a three-hour marathon, you don't need to be going out the first half of a marathon in 120. I would go out the first half of a marathon in around 131, maybe to 131 and a half minutes, um, and then trying to run a negative split, and then coming back and running maybe a 126 or 127 for that second half. Running a negative split is a much better option. Uh, can you still run a positive split and break a three-hour marathon? Yes, you can, and there's plenty of athletes out there that, that run positive splits at set personal best. Even when I ran 219.35, I went out in 107.09 for the first half and then came back with a 112.26, so I was much slower in the second half than I was in the first half, but sometimes you just, you have to, you have to know how fit you are and, and, and be confident in what you're doing. That particular day, you know, I was, I knew I was ready. Um, I had done a 10-day taper, which is also... I highly recommend you doing if you're wanting to go under the three hour marathon barrier. Yes, you're going to have to put in the work. You're going to have to train significantly faster than, than six minute mile pace in training. So the key types of workouts, I would definitely recommend if you're wanting to, to get under that, that three hour marathon barrier is getting that tempo run out to around 10 miles or 16 kilometers and running that tempo run at around 629 to 635 per mile pace or around 402 to 404 kilometer pace. So again, it's not gonna happen quickly. You wanna first learn how to do a tempo run at around three to four miles when you're not very fit and you're just building up your training. 
longer buildups are always better in breaking the three-hour marathon than a short buildup. If you're trying to break the three-hour marathon in an eight-week buildup versus a 24-week buildup, or even a minimum of 16 to 24 weeks, always the longer buildups can be better because it takes around three to four weeks for your body to adapt to the training that you're doing. So just know that if you're trying to cram all of your training in a very short amount of time, your chances of running a time this fast and this competitive is going to be very, very hard. So it is difficult. It's it's it be, be aware of the fact that what you're trying to do, very few athletes around the world each year accomplish. So just stay in the mindset. Like if you're around 328 or 330 for the marathon, it's just a matter of sticking to what you're doing and believing in what you're doing. You know, there are athletes in their 50s and even 60s that go under the three-hour marathon barriers. So if you're, say, in your early 40s or your 30s or 20s, you can definitely break this barrier. But it's going to be a matter of how badly do you truly want it and how strategic are you being in your training? Are you doing mile repeats? Are you out there doing repetitions on the track when you're very fit around six-minute mile pace or around 558 to six-minute mile pace? You know, are you doing those 800s? Uh, my recommendation is when you're first starting off doing threshold 800s at around 313 per rep, that might mean maybe six to 10 800s on the track with three three minutes rest, plenty of rest in, in between each one of those reps. The reps are slower, but as you get more anaerobically fit, then you want to start working on getting that those 800s down to around 255 to 257 per rep, but only giving yourself maybe 60 to 90 seconds rest in between each one of the reps. So again, it's always about giving yourself the time to adapt to the training that you're doing first, and then as you get fitter, you want to gradually lessen the amount of rest you're giving yourself on, on those workouts. You know, even when I was training for the marathon, uh, I was always focused on my favorite workouts was doing six 1600 meter reps on the track around 444 to 446. Uh, and when I could get to a point where I could do that with 60 seconds in between each one of those reps, I knew I was ready. Uh, also running three 3,200 meter reps or three eight lap reps on the track under 10 minutes with a four minute recovery in between each one of the reps. That's when I was really fit and I knew I was ready. Obviously there's under ind indicators, you know, how are you able to, uh, consistently run at very fast paces or a mixture of fast faster paces during your long runs and are you alternating your long run uh, intensities i always recommend if you want to break the three-hour marathon run a faster harder long run one weekend followed the next weekend by a jog easy recovery long run this will make sure that you're one you're not uh, fatiguing yourself you're not uh, going too in oxygen debt on these long runs but also you're allotting sufficient times uh, to, to recover from the hard workouts you're doing. And for me, I needed anywhere from anywhere from two up to three days of recovery after my long runs. The long run was the most difficult workout that I did as an athlete. It was not track workouts or hill repetitions. It was the long run. So I hope this is, is helpful in, in terms of um, just answering the question of how difficult is it to run a three-hour marathon. It's extremely challenging it will test your limits both mes mentally as well as physically but if you focus on doing a 10-day taper you start dropping your volume and your intensity three days out or 10 days out from your main goal race focus on running a negative split in the race practice hydration pro improving your hydration practice and, and taking in at least three to four gels in your race getting that initial 100 to 150 calories of immediate energy glucose into your bloodstream while you're racing, that is absolutely essential. You do not want to try to run a marathon without drinking and taking in any type of calories in the race. This will ruin your chances of breaking a three-hour marathon. Continue to work on your pacing uh, and training. Continue to work on getting under the six-minute mile barrier, uh, running faster than six-minute mile pace in training, and often spend some time running around 520 to 530 mile pace in training or around you know 345 to 350 kilometer pace in training so that again it might mean just running you running a few seconds at that particular intensity you don't you're not going to spend several miles running at those paces but you can spend a few seconds to a couple minutes 
running at 5.30 to 6 minute mile pace and that again is going to eventually help make that 6.52 mile pace or 4.16 kilometer pace feel that much easier for you. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you're wanting to break the three-hour marathon barrier, definitely check out RunDreamAchieve.com. I have a course called the Sub Three Hour Marathon Pro Course uh, that a lot of athletes have utilized to help assist them break the three-hour marathon. There are also training plans. I also coach athletes one-on-one uh, -on -one month, uh, monthly as well. So I wish you all the best in your sub three hour marathon attempt, and I look forward to hearing about you running that 259.59 or faster time. So I wish you all the best, and I'll talk to you next time.